Hello and welcome back to the Dr. Donovan Medicine Made Easy YouTube channel where today we're going to be talking about an ear skin tag and we're going to be covering three main things. We'll look at what is an ear skin tag, why do they form and how do you manage them. So let's start off with what is an ear skin tag. Well this is an example of an ear skin tag in front of the ear and I'm just highlighting it in green here. So if you remember from the last video where we covered preauricular sinus, things in front of the pinna, so I'm highlighting the pinna here in green, can be called preauricular. So this is an example of a preauricular skin tag. Now there's a couple of other terms that can be used to describe these skin tags, and these are an accessory tragus, or you can also describe it as a branchial cleft remnant. Now this is important because it leads us on to why these are formed. So I'm just going to erase this now and we'll talk briefly about why these get formed. So if you cast your minds back to embryology, you can remember that in the six week of gestation, that is when the external ear is formed. And the external ear is typically formed when six hillocks fuse together to form the pinna. But if they fuse incorrectly, appendages can form. And this is an example where this fusion has formed incorrectly. And this can be made up of fat, it can also be made up of skin, or it can be made up of cartilage. Now that's important because that's going to influence the management of these, but let's just briefly still talk about why these are occurring. So these can occur in isolation, so they can occur by themselves, and to be honest, they can just be a form of cosmetic um, abnormality, but they can occur with other conditions, such as golden heart syndrome, they can also occur in something called hemifacial microsomia. It can also occur in first and second branchial arch syndrome. Now this is really important to know about because although much of the time this is a cosmetic abnormality, it can also lead to or can be associated with hearing loss. So if you notice this on a child, you should make sure you do a full hearing assessment. Obviously you can be guided by your audiologist if you have access to one. Now in terms of management, well, these are usually managed by surgical excision. And whether or not they're removed by local anaesthetic or with general anaesthetic will depend on things like what the skin tag is made up of. So is it made up of skin, cartilage or fat? Um, it'll depend on the number of tags and the complexity of them. So I hope I found this video useful. Remember we've covered what is a skin tag, we've covered why you can find them and the conditions they're associated with, as well as the management of skin tags. If you'd like to do some further reading, I've included some links in the description box below. And remember, if you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel for similar videos in the future.